Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Feeling a lot better today. Today is a really exciting day. I am meeting up with Alma, another like spiritual life coach here in Oslo. It's great that we can be able to get together and talk. She's a really big inspiration and a big expander, which is what I want to talk about today. First, let's open up gift number four. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, I'm tired and I'm working. I can just take a nap. I'm gonna pull some two cards for the day. We got two cards. We got the full moon and then the seven of pentacles. Full moon, surrender to the divine. The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind, agreed. But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into your emotions now and see what they are telling you. They're very likely close to the surface no matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card. Matters will so soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor and this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Attuned to the moon, I'm getting the answers I need. Additional meanings for this card. A wish you made may be about to come true. It's make it or break it time. There could be a sense of madness in the air. Breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone to release negative energy. It's time to let go of the past and move on. The teaching. The full moon marks the climax of the lunar cycle, making this card something of a powerful card. The full moon is often the time when answers are given to questions asked during the new moon. Pulling this card at any time the lunar cycle suggests answers will be coming your way before too long. Seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles invite us to take a break, to observe the work we've done so far. There is a time for work and a time for contemplation and waiting. Just like the gardener who knows the right amount of time plants need to bloom and seeds to sprout. This card highlights the importance of waiting, which is not just an empty moment, but rather a fertile, nourishing moment in which we stimulate our imagination and wait with faith. So basically being patient for the big climax. Trusting that big changes will come, trusting that you will be able to harvest what you've been working for and just trusting that what you desire will come to you. As per usual, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I am about to meditate and then get ready. such a incredible woman first of all I'm so grateful that i've been able to meet her and be in her presence and just listen to the wisdom that she brings and we talked about human design we went into my chart and we talked about coaching and struggles with going on your own and how that is like finding your power again and putting yourself first and really showing up for yourself. It was honestly such an incredible, incredible conversation. If there is something that you want to do, if there's a goal that you want to achieve, something you want to manifest, find expanders. Alma is a big expander for me and 
seeing her doing what she loves to do and really, you know, like tapping into the essence of being a coach is really showing me that it is possible. So find people that have what you want or a version of what you want. It doesn't have to be like exactly what you desire, but looking for people that have the qualities that you want to show up in or partially have like your dream job and go out and talk to them learn and actually listen and see like what did they do to get to where they are and be in their presence just like feel into what it is actually like having that thing that you most desire for today. It's so weird getting to film this continuously and document how kind of like my mood goes up and down on a more personal level than I can with stories and Instagram and all that stuff. I feel so much better today, just a lot more sure, a lot more grounded in my body and inspired. It also really depends on who you surround yourself with. I don't know if I would have felt the same if I hadn't met Anima today. Having expanders, having people around you that truly lift you up and see your potential and cheer you on and really just gets excited about the stuff that you love and you can relate on a different level, especially if you're in this on this spiritual journey and really finding your spiritual self it's hard especially if you live in Norway like it's not really talked about it's getting more airtime and a lot more attention but it's still weird for people who are not in it and don't understand it which I get you know and I accept that but finding people that you can talk to and that you feel safe with and you just you know know they have your best interest at heart is super duper important. Thank you so so much for watching this video. I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. It will really really support my channel and to help this message get out to even more people. Go and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future vlogmas videos. I got plenty of good and juicy topics and videos that is coming up. I'm going on a solo trip, which is gonna be so exciting. Ah, honestly, I cannot wait. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!